Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights that were released in June 2021. This is the list of paid systems and tools. In the last video, I already covered all the best free new assets, so go watch that if you haven't seen it. And in the next video, I will be covering the top assets and effects. Let me know which one of these you're most interested in, and I might do a detailed review on it. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also right now, there's two awesome Humble Bundles about to end, one with a massive amount of 2D art, characters, weapons, backgrounds, and tons and tons of icons, and another bundle with a massive amount of music and sound effects. Both of them on really deep discounts, I bought both of them myself, they're ending very soon, so check them out quickly. Those are also affiliate links, so if you use them, you get some awesome stuff and you help support the channel. Oh, and as usual, the Asset Store Summer Sale is continuing with new deals every week. Alright, so let's go, starting off with the SV Anti-Cheat. Now, normally, when someone asks me what they should do with regards to cheating, I normally say just don't bother. If someone wants to cheat in their own single-player game, then my approach is really just let them. But if you really want to try to stop them, then maybe pick up an asset like this one instead of trying to handle the security yourself. This is a solution for encrypting the variables in RAM, so they are protected from scanners like Cheat Engine. It's super easy to use, all you really need to do is just replace the base types for one of these special types. So instead of using a basic int, you use a secure int. Also keep in mind this tool is for securing memory, so this has nothing to do with multiplayer cheat prevention. Then if you need a low poly terrain tool, here is a great one. It just came out and it's already got tons of 5 star reviews. It's got tons and tons of features, easily creates some gorgeous looking massive low poly terrains, it supports all of the render pipelines, has support for the burst compiler and the job system, so it's extremely fast with some instant real-time results. Also very performant, so you can also use it in VR. It's compatible with a bunch of other tools you might already have, like the World Streamer or the Vegetation Studio Pro. Comes with a bunch of simple assets, so some trees, grass, structures, vehicles and so on. It really is a massive, very capable and very well-built tool. So if you want to make some low poly terrains, then check this one out. Then for something really interesting, the Magic Light Map Switcher. It's a tool for dynamically swapping out light maps and light probes in real time, meaning that you can pre-bake some insanely high quality lighting, and then change it during runtime to match some sort of time of day setting. Making a day night cycle is something I've been meaning to explore for quite a while, and the biggest downside with what I had in mind was that the lighting had to be in real time. But with something like this, I can use some super high quality baked lighting instead of that. So if you've ever wondered how do those AAA games have some gorgeous lighting with day-night cycles and great performance, well, this is how they do it. Another really interesting package here, a Dots character controller. It's been quite a long time since I last touched Dots, I really want to get back into it but I haven't had the time. It's great to see that Dots is already advanced enough that some asset like this is possible. Although do keep in mind that Dots is still in development, so this package is in preview just like the official one. But based on the positive reviews, it does seem like it's very well made. So if you want to explore some dots, then maybe look into this one to see how it works. If you're looking for a complete game pack, here is the RPG Idol Tycoon. It's an idol dungeon game, so your character is constantly moving as enemies get spawned, you gain some gold and weapons as you defeat your enemies, open up a bunch of chests and level up your character. It's a complete game kit, so it's perfect for learning, You've got lots of features, pretty much everything you would expect from this genre. Also has support for easily adding Unity ads or in-game purchases for gems and coins. Check it out and build upon it. If you want to interact with any object, check out the Universal Interaction System. It's a modular system that can convert any object into an interactable object. Easily add all kinds of interactions, so you can carry an object, you can grab and inspect them, block a bunch of things with planks, chairs and break them, make a key lock system, and so on. A lot of it is made to work with Unity events, so you can easily integrate it into your own games. Also includes integration with Bravefire and the HQ FPS template. If you want to know how your players are playing your game, here is the heat map inputs analyzer. This is super useful, especially during playtesting. So it keeps track of where your players click or touch and for how long. So you can use it to see if your players are clicking on the wrong place in order to optimize and guide the player to the correct inputs. Play around with tons of parameters to get it working exactly as you need. Then generate some gorgeous high quality lighting with the upgen lighting URP asset. It creates some more realistic lighting than defaults, makes a more natural light, especially in darker environments. 
The videos showcase a pretty significant difference, especially when you add some ray trace global illumination. If you want your games to look even better, then maybe look into this one. This package is for URP, but there's other ones for the built-in and HDRP as well. Then here's another interesting one to solve a problem that perhaps you don't even know about. It's the continuous floating origin. The issue is that floats are just numbers stored in memory, and since your computer has limited memory, that means that it has limited precision. Floats specifically need enough memory to keep both the main number and the decimals, which means they are quite a bit more limited in range than ints. So as you move further and further away from the origin, things start to behave very weirdly. If you've never built some massive games, you might not have come across this problem. Well, what this asset does is it keeps moving the origin so your floats don't have to turn into monumentally massive numbers. Specifically, the origin is always on top of the player, so all of the collisions happen right near the origin, which means no jitter, no glitches. If you're working on a massive game, then a solution like this one is definitely a must. And up here is a graph system. It's a tool for drawing all kinds of lines, add some points anywhere and make some really nice curves. Change the color visual, the line width and so on. Seems like this would be a great tool for maybe a multiplayer strategy game for displaying the plan before the mission. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity Asset Store for June 2021. There's links to all in the description and as a bonus you can use the coupon code monkey 10 to get 10% off your order. Check out the full playlist to see some more lists with both free and paid assets and let me know if you pick up any and what you intend to do with them. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.